So, I am going to... I'm going to start the next one next time I stream. But we're going to hit new game. And we're going to see if that new... If the intro movie finishes. Because there's only... Every time we finished a route, that intro movie kept getting longer and longer. And in the, in the most recent one with Yukino, the freaking... We saw someone come out of the water and they were looking at their reflection. We might see who it is. Get criminal girls. Yo, ghost peppers going on, dude. Get ghost <laughs> criminal girls. <laughs> That's not a visual novel. Uh, wait, is it? No, it's wait, it might be. I don't remember. I've seen it though. Um, we're gonna I'm just gonna we're gonna hit new game. We're gonna see if that new movie introduces anything and or if the intro changes at all. Because we have all four girls. The only one we're missing now is Miyu. It's Miyu. Miyu is the last one. And it could potentially be the final run through. Potentially. There might be one more after it, which is the true run. Maybe. We'll see. But I'm gonna start that. I'm gonna I'm gonna start the next route next time. But we're gonna watch this intro and see if it reveals anything new or if it shows anything different. We'll get through the first day. We'll get through the first day. Let's find out. Oh, I need to stream this tomorrow night. <laughs> After Game of Thrones. <laughs> All right, here we go. <gasps> There's actual different music. It might be the me it might be the completed video. <gasps> There's music being played. Miss Yamashiro? Was that Miss Yamashiro? It's very hard to tell. <gasps> Holy shit! Okay. <laughs> Completely new. It, it's starting from the end of that movie! It's starting! There's an N for the U. What? What? There's an end for the you want to stay with. And here, there's an end for the girl you want to stay with, and there, and has their own reason they end there. Mm, are you talking about? Are you still talking about criminal girls? <laughs> oh, I gotta know a little. I can't end it right now. I have to see how this beginning part plays out until we get to the first save point. I need to know if that's Miss Yamashiro. What? Oh, that was Miyu? Oh shit, that was was that her glowy eyes? That I know your voice, Yamato. You guys are part of the so they're part of that cult then? これからどうなるの現れたばかりの読み人は赤子も同然自分がどこから来たのか何者なのかそんな記念もなくたださまようしかばね しかし、すぐに自我が確立する。生前の記憶の延長線上へと戻るんだ。そして、何事もなかったかのように、こそうなると、ミュ。
お前のまだ未熟な高めでは見つけるのは容易ではないということだあー So Miyu isn't So Miyu isn't Of course, you know, they kind of like make you think that she's she's a Yomi Biro. She might be, but they are training. They're basically, she's basically the the one training to spot Yomi Biro. Is that why every time one of the her eyes glow, maybe she sees it? I don't know. Oh, <laughs> no. なにおんなだったと思う確信はないけどアンズルナお前はまだ成長過程による読み人が蘇る兆しを感じ取っただけでも俺たちにとっては成果ださんは死に際この町の運命をお前に託すと言った俺は俺たちは無理私には無理おばあちゃんのような力私にはないアンズルナと言ったろ誰だって最初は初心者だ<笑>行こう読み人を狩りに。God damn, I love this game. This is such a pleasant, like, unexpected game that I didn't know if I would like it or not. And it's just become one of my favorites. But I like that it's thrown me right into the, like, it threw me immediately into the last path that we need, which is Miyu's. So I'm assuming that Miyu's is just, is the final. Maybe her ending is the final ending. Maybe. I can skip, though. This is the first day of club activities during summer break. We're supposed to start research on our presentations. Hey, Amana. Of course, she's the first person we see. I've been doing some research on the Yamabita legend. Can you hear me out? Well, on the final day before sprint, a summer break, Miss Yamashiro suggested I work with Amana since I'm new to this town. That means we're the only pair giving a presentation together. Miss <sighs> Yamashiro assigned us a topic, the Yamabita legend. It's a classic summer story in this town. Although it's hard to work at the mana, she doesn't respond at all. Her sudden question causes me to lean toward her. I did a lot of research in the library, but there aren't many records from 100 years ago. I found mostly rumors. Are you able to post links? No, unfortunately. Well, actually, I think as a VIP, you can. Just as long as you don't post, you know, something you're not supposed to. I looked online too, but I couldn't find any credible literature that wasn't filled with embellishments. She stops responding again. Oh, Nakayaki, you're doing well, you two. Oh, no. that's weird. Apparently, it said that freaking VIPs are able to post links. That's weird. What's the point of the whole VIP thing if you can't freaking post the link? You know what's weird is that Nightbot deleted it and I I can't even usually because I have the um the Franker's like thing attachment in my web browser, usually I can still see what the link is. That's weird. <laughs> what is it? What is it you're trying to post?
Kids get suddenly jumps to our conversation. This would usually annoy me, but today is a lifesaver. 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 I wouldn't really say what we're getting we're getting along. That's not exactly the kind of remark that makes me want to thank him. We're similar? I glance at Amana. What? Yeah, I might have to change up because Nightbot, it's weird. It's like Nightbot conflicts with like Twitch's thing. So it's like I have it set to where like I have it, you're a VIP. You you have one of the freaking diamonds which allows you to post links. But apparently that goes against Nightbot because Nightbot just said fuck you. So it's weird. It actually behaves. It's not like we're dating. ああ、言ったよ、俺って。何のためにこの見つけに入ったんだって話ですよ。何のためよ。勇気のち。当たり前のこと聞かないでもらえる。そら、ちょっといと、お近づきになるためでしょうか。はっ、はっきり言いました
この告白をアマナはどう受ける It's on PS4. ふざけないで。Well, <laughs> well, like there's a lot of other stuff I have to buy right now. That one, that game, it doesn't. I've seen what it. I've seen stuff about it. So I don't like. I'm not like. Like, ooh, I need to play that. I try it out, but I'm not. I wouldn't pay the money to try it out. I'm gonna hurry out of the club room. Damn you, can't get. あんた本当失礼なやつだねそんなんだから彼女できないんだよなるほどじゃあ前美が俺の彼女になってくれればそれでいいんだけどすごいですわ前美姉さんこんな露骨にプロポーズする殿方私見たことありませんそうだね全然心に響かないけどさあおかしなテーマの題材にされる前に。私たちも帰ろう。ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、Holy crap, there's so many events going on right now, but they're not the ones that I want. I want the Mew. So I'm gonna go to the cafe and see if she's there. <laughs> oh, is that Kensuke? Oh boy! Oh no. Oh no. Now this is a nice little cafe. Just getting a view of that waitress is worth the visit. <laughs> the man mutters lashes of l e e To himself as he leaves. Nothing worse than filler. Did you. But did you see the VOD? Did you watch. Did you go back and watch yesterday's stream? Because a lot of cool stuff happened. Oh, hey, welcome. Some guy. Some guy I'd never seen came in. And he was just staring at me the whole time he was here. It was pretty gross. Isn't that right, Miu? I don't care. You hear that? She doesn't care. What do you what do you make of that? I think you made her that way, Yamato. Eh, whatever. Take your time. Well, I guess nothing there. I, <laughs> all these events, and I'm just like, I saved all the suburb for like this path, this one route, to see if anything happens. <gasps> Miss Yamashiro. What is this student doing around here so late? I tell her that I'm taking a walk. A walk, huh? That wouldn't be so ordinary in a big city, but you shouldn't be wandering at night here. Is it unsafe for a woman like you to be walking around by yourself, too? Maybe you're right. Well, then, Alzero. <gasps> Will you be a gentleman and walk me home? Hell yeah! The proposition has me flustered. <laughs> no, you cock tease. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now stop teasing a lady and go home already. You, who's teasing who now? Goodbye. That really caught me off guard. No, no, my sweet hot teacher. Hey, where's your motto? <laughs> Brother's in the basement. I mean, in his room. Me stutter something unusual for her. I decided not to bring it up and order nice tea. I'm on a nod to her to the kitchen. Oh, you know, I haven't even checked. Where is my energy at? <laughs> Damn, Yukino almost, almost reached the final, the final outer ring. Almost. Oh, well. Ah, that's it. God dang it. Well, if this one goes faster, but there's so many pictures for Miyu, it's like, what is gonna happen where there's gonna be a whole bunch of pictures? I need to know. I potentially have Arc System Works. Going to give me some materials for this game. Potentially. Potentially. I did email I did email them and have been talking to them on Twitter. Potentials. Ooh, there's an event in the forest that I've not gone to. The entrance of the forest, blah blah blah. I wanna say it might be on the bridge, but let's go check the river first. Shit. Wait no. Oh no. 
Oh no, did I choose the wrong one? Did I choose the wrong one? No, I did the wrong thing! Nope, I did the wrong thing. Why was there a new event, new event that I've already seen before? But it didn't say that she was there. Because I went to... Because I went to the wrong one. God dang it. Okay, I'm gonna go... This time, I'm just going to... It's weird that that... Look, she's at the house, though! Freaking everyone's warping back and forth. And so let's go to the bridge first. There's a commotion going on by the bridge. Huh? I hear Nika Ray is going hurt. Got hurt during the rehearsal. Which hospital did she go to? I I can't tell you that, but she's not here anymore. So please go away. Yeah, a big scoop gone to waste. Hey, find the hospital. Hurry. I guess he's passionate about his job. Nope. I'm not watching that. I'm not watching that event. I'd rather skip it. There's another event going on at the forest again. To the forest. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go to the bridge again. I heard that Nick Gray isn't using a stunt double for her hanging scene. Oh, and they're gonna shoot that scene right here in this very valley. That's right. That's right. Hold on. Don't walk away yet. I'll give you my most prized possession. Look, it's a photo of Nick Gray in her bunny hop outfit. This is one of the best shots I stuck during a live event. I think if that's illegal, Kensuke. Nah, thanks. Ne no thanks necessary. Get it? <laughs> necessary. <laughs> <sighs> Woohoo! See you later. Now give me that photo. Kensuke chatted along with that did it on his own. Ooh, did you? Did he actually give me that photo? No, you lying whore. He didn't give me no freaking photo, you punk. <gasps> yes, no. Why does he want me to get this event with her? How can I say it right? Let's see what you say, Sora, really. Why does it want me to get that event? It wants me to get that event. Okay, so I know that Miu is there. So I'm going to go there to maybe potentially get something new. None of your stupid side quests. I've already done with them. Uh oh. Walked around all day. This is ooh. I it started with with Mew, but there hasn't been anything Mew specific. Am I going to the wrong areas? It's only the third day, but still. Okay, there's a new event here. I should look up a little more about the Yomabito legend. Ah, here we go. Like Amada said, the gulf between her knowledge and mine is too big. On top of that, she's the best student in class. Now that I'm working with the uptight Amana, I need to learn more about not just learn more about not just the Yomabito, but Mihate Town. Nonetheless, there are a few books written about small municipalities like Mihate Town. But Long I patiently flipped through the book after book, I was able to find some interesting books about pinwheels. I picked up a few of them and checked them out from the library. I went to them to Amana at the next mystery club meeting. I wonder if she'll hiss, because she doesn't like them. Ah, there's an event. There's more. There's more stuff. Oh! Jesus. Oh, no. I don't want to... No. Yukino. I wonder if I have to see those events to... To get something to happen. I think I do. Because it's just. It's like. um, It's not really like doing anything. Like it's. It's not. It's showing me. Because I. It, it shows that I've already got it. But it's not showing me who's there. So it's like. Yeah. I've gotten that scene before. But. Why isn't. Why is it not showing that Yukino was there. Unless I have to see it. Like, I have to. 
I would go home, but I'd rather just go to the forest and get the stuff that I haven't seen yet. The riverbed. My only companion along this stretch of riverside you haven't seen this yet. Oh wait, no, never mind. The forest has spiders, many spiders. Okay. It's Miss Yamashiro. What you doing here, girl? When I came here, I feel a sense of overwhelming sorrow, as if my heart is being clenched in a fist. So this is the uncomfortable place, but I keep finding myself here for some reason. Miss Yamashiro, don't tell me you're the Yomibito. Don't do it, girl. Don't. She came here to go skinny dip. I'm so down for that. I must sound ridiculous. Forget I said anything. No. She's really into dark, gloomy places like this. She must have some weird tastes. Wait. Wait, what? Does she like it or hate it? Whatever. I don't know. I'll go do whatever to get into those. <laughs> she loves the dankness. So I kind of updated my my peach email, and that's gonna be the new tier one to replace the the uh, link email. So that's been submitted. Oh, Kensuke, you fucko! <sighs> that wasted a whole day. That wasted a whole day. Is there any way to avoid that? It says Peaches Tier 2. No, 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 no. No, it's not. It, it was submitted. The new one is submitted. It's not approved yet, but it's going to be a Tier 1. <clears throat> the new Peach Emo is Tier 1. <gasps> ah, new stuff. As I pass the school guy, I see Mimi standing in front of the entrance. She's standing face to face with a male. Oh, god damn. We've seen this already. We've seen every time. I tell Mona what I yeah here we go. I tell Mona what I learned from my research. Hey Draco, you haven't answered my question yet. Did you watch the? Did you go back and watch yesterday's stream? Have you? Did you watch the Yukino route? That's what people used to believe, but unfortunately, not many believe that pinwheels keep the Yamabito away today. Still, people replace them out of habit every summer. Oh, you did? Okay, good. Traditions and legends gradually lose meaning, but the pinwheels remain as physical objects. It's interesting. That's about all I found. Amana doesn't say a single word. Apparently my presentation doesn't seem to have inspired her much. I'm about to get up and walk away when... <gasps> they come in a fire. Ooh. Does it happen to be a red, blue, green, yellow, and purple? I pause halfway out of my seat. I didn't know that. <laughs> She's talking about her grandma. Miu is a modest grandmother. She passed away of old age last fall. Miu had lost both her parents and had been raised by her grandmother. And she was the primary role model of this young girl's life. She also taught Miu that one day she would have to learn to walk alone. We already saw that that the Amana clan basically have some kind of ability to to see Yomibito. So it could be when their eyes glow, it I'm in the they're in the presence or they, they can see it. But that means that when I first got here and she saw me, potentially I'm the Yomibito. Of course that feels too too just like intentional. But I don't know. Your grandmother? I'd like to hear more about what she said. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. ね、ちょっと面白いわね。人の内面が色になっているか。おばあちゃんから聞いた話だから本当かどうかわからないけど。私もいろいろ調べてきたけど、そういう話は初めて。風車、街の中でよく見かけるけど、確かに色は何色かあったわね。ね、君、せっかくだから調べてみたら。What do you think, Amana? 
Your reply is terse as always. Well, my summer break is going to be boring no matter what I do, anyway. I decided to do some additional research into the pinwheels by our next meeting. The question is where, where can I go to learn about that kind of thing? I remember seeing pinwheels hanging underneath the eaves of the residential area. But that just takes me to the freaking cafe. <clears throat> Well, we have to go there. This is the residential library. I almost found 30 pinwheels as I made my way around the area, but they were limited to the same five colors. Red, blue, yellow, green, and purple. Some of them are vague shades, but they're all roughly in those five. Red, Miami, blue, Yukino, yellow, Saya, green, Miyu, and purple, Conoco. Why is that? I look over to see an old woman reaching out to adjust a pinwheel hanging on the front door. I speak her out. I speak out to her. Ma'am, can, can I help you fix that? Ah, go man, ne. Chanto kutsukete o kanakatta desu ka ne. Kazakuruma ga kaze ni makete katamui chau nante. I pick up the pinwheel that had been knocked askew and put it back where it should be, then secure it in place. That'll do. Arigato yo. あんた見かけない顔だけど、旅行者ってわけでもなさそうだな。I explained that I'd moved here in June. そうかそうか。若い人が来てくれるのは嬉しいことだな。I jump on the opportunity to ask her about the pinwheel colors. This pinwheel is beautiful. Does the color have any special meaning? うん。色か。色は考えたことがなかったな。だが、五色しか使わないというのは聞いたことがある。けど、それ以上はちょっと知らんな。もし詳しく知りたいのなら、高上神社に行って聞くと。Sorry to interrupt you, old lady. Historical shrine built back in the Edo period that represents Bahati Town. Situated on the hilltop along the coast, the views of both the ocean and the forest are among the shrine's charm. The summer festival is held at the center of the shrine. There's a story that a young girl who possessed the power of the gods once lived in the shrine. However, the girl decreed that Bahati Town was a cursed town and escaped without ever coming back. This isn't a legendary tale. It only started being told about ten years ago. Who's Takagami? Asokoa. <laughs> 夏祭りに風車を大量に飾るんじゃが、それがこの町の夏の風物詩でな。あそ、頑張ってな。The turns away from me. She disappears in her house, and the door, the door shuts firmly in our conversation. Tag got me trying. I should go there before it gets super dark and scary. Too late. <laughs> Uh, I guess I should go there. You're suspicious. I, uh, no, stop eating on me, girl. Hmm. Yeah, I guess I got that one. Let's go to the sacred land. Nope, nothing. I guess I have to go during the day. <laughs> my, my. My cousin texts me and he's like, best episode ever. Or favorite episode of the season. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Only one more Game of Thrones left. One. 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 No spoilers? I'm not saying Jack. <laughs> I'm not saying Jack. Ooh, there you go. It wants me to go to the shrine in the freaking morning? <sighs> ah, I see you! Thank you very much! Oh! <gasps> Ryuzaki-chan! What you doing, girl? Goodbye. Whoa! What? What are you doing stumbling around? Huh? Me? I'm here because I'm conducting an investigation, of course. Would you think I was just going around selling healthy probiotic drinks? They taste good, don't they? Well, fine. I'll have some delivered to your place every day. God knows a dour kid like you could use some pick-me-up. Doesn't matter if you drink it or not. I'll cram you a post box with them and charge you for every last drop. Well, I guess I'm going to be healthier now. <laughs> huh? 
Huh? <gasps> any any insane installation that damages the surrounding rocks is unacceptable. This place has history and reputation. Oh no. <gasps> oh, how unexpected. I never thought I'd see you here. I'm working, of course. We're going to use this place for filming in a couple of days, so we're checking the place out. Huh? Don't listen to me. I shouldn't be telling regular people about this, you regular person, you. <laughs> I guess regular people should stay away then. <gasps> Inside the shrine grounds, I see the priest sweeping the walkway with the broom. The head priest of the Takagami Shrine lives behind the shrine. He's actually a descendant of the Imana family. Oh, <gasps> uh, what? He's the descendant of the Amana family, huh? He has a daughter named Ayame, who was so bright that people thought she was a descendant of the gods and would reshape the future of Mihate Town. However, Ayame grew to dislike Mihate Town and left the city after she graduated from high school. No one knows why or where she is and what she's doing now, and she only occasionally contacts her father. There's a rumor that she's a teacher at a school somewhere. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to speak to her at some point. <gasps> Miss, Yash Miss Yamashiro chan? Miss Yamashiro, are you a Yame girl? As I start talking to him, he stops sweeping and smiles at me. I want to talk to him about the pinwheels. Kazaguruma no iro wa zenbu de itsutsu gozaimasu. Sore zore ga hito no saga, tsumari, seishitsu to naru mono o imi shite olimasu. Midori, aka, murasaki, ki, ao. これは陰陽道での語行にも通ずると言われておりますが、実際はもっと気に近いものと考えられております。ライフエネルギー。はい。人は生命力の源であり、人それぞれ性格が違うように異なる色合いを持つ。そのピンロールレプレゼントです。
Oh, it's you. You're here early. It's true that on this day of the 7th, Nico will be filming at the waterfall pass here, but that's at 2 o'clock. Still, it's good to discipline to show up early to things. I applaud you. Have this as a reward. Because have this as a box of snacks. <gasps> you know this is food? That's right. The dream collab between Kamashiro Doe and ZZ Panda. Is that tie is that to me? Sticks! They look like french fries. I didn't say anything. Once you've had one, you, can, you can't you can stop. It's Nikare love level might have even higher than good choc- good choco pan- That sentence is so confusing. Now eat! I might as well, so I take the box from him. There's only one left! Are you sure I can have it? Ah, of course! I take the last stick and put it in my mouth. It slowly hits me. HOT! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! This popular snack food comes with 12 sticks in each pack, but one of them is secretly a super spicy pepper flavor. <coughs> Just one? ZZ Panda has 11 members. This one's like finding a hidden Yoma Beetle among the girls. How avant garde, how clever. It was the last one, Kensuke. You knew this was the hot one. Well, I'm gonna go kill time. It'd be nice to give you another so you can practice finding the Yama Beetle. Kensuke tosses another box at me before crossing the bridge, heading over into the forest. I got the box of Zetai Zetsume sticks. This, ta this tastes is pretty addictive. Good job, Kamashiro Doe. Yo, Fukoji, what's going on, dude? Just popped in, say hi. Glad to see you've been enjoying the game so far. You've been trying to stay blind to as much as possible since you've been anticipating this for a while. Started on Switch version, and man, I'm already super interested after just inviting. Yeah, dude. Like, this game, super good. Super good. This is already, like, one of my top tens of the year. This could easily be Resident Evil 2 for me. Like, no joke. I love Resident Evil 2, but man, this thing has gotten me, like, hooked. Resident Evil 2, I was like, eh, I played this before, just it looks like a fresh coat of paint. That's just me. This game is super good. Okay. Haven't been to the suburbs. Welcome. Amada brought over some water. She's helping the cafe in her uniform as usual. I see again. I nod. Amada nods back in confirmation and heads over to the kitchen. I guess I'm a regular now. Done. <gasps> There's, ooh, ooh, thing there. Let's go. <gasps> and it's a vent too. Thunder rumbles in the distance and rain begins to fall from the clouds that have been spreading since earlier evening. I take cover in the rain. I ring the door of a cafe pastiche as I happen to be walking by. Oh, Tenkosekun ka. Ame futtik chatta kai? Yeah, it looks like it might start pouring. I mean, so ka. more than it already is already. Yamato looks at the clock on the wall. He notices me looking at him and smiles. Ah, uh, yeah. ミュウが買い出しに行ってるんだ。駅前から帰ってくるから途中で降られなきゃいいなと思って。ウォーキングでサウンドオブレインアゲンストウィンドウズグローステディーラウダー。だからカサ持って行けって言ったのに。今まだ
in a bikini, like a beach thing or the swimming pool, because she it doesn't seem like she's the type to, to be in that. And there's never, there's never been any kind of inkling that she has, so it's gonna be interesting to see if there's what, what kind of fan servicey thing they do with with uh, Miu. Mana doesn't have an umbrella. I wonder if she's taking cover from the rain somewhere. Uh, I can go find her. Uh, Mana. Oh God, yeah, you're right. It's so gonna be a wet T-shirt picture. Yep. Yep! Amana's soaking wet as if she had just jumped into a pool with her clothes on. The thin cloth of her uniform sticks to her skin, exposing her delicate soft frame. I feel my heart beating. I see it's see yeah, it is see through. Yamato throws me a towel. I catch it out of the air. The rainwater drips from her from her hair into the space between her breasts. I quickly look away embarrassed. I awkwardly hold out the towel. Are you okay? Without looking at me, she takes the towel and walks away like a marathon runner at a water stop. Did we actually finally get one picture for freaking me? We sure did. Mana disappears through the back door without a look back. Stunned, I turn around. Uh, Yamato's smile is sinister. <laughs> After Amana disappeared upstairs, she didn't come back down to the cafe. She left me hanging. Well, I know always after the rain thing, we go to the club in the morning, so this... There might be some new stuff in the morning. <clears throat> yep. I don't see a mon in the club room. I heard that she called Miss Yamashiro and said she had a cold. It's probably from me now in the rain yesterday. Seeing that I'm having to work alone, Kensuke jumps at the opportunity to mess with me. <laughs> so I and Mimi start sticking their noses into it, and soon the club room was chaos, even I don't have to begin without Amana. It's amazing all this happens in a month. Yeah, but they're like different timelines, or they're different parallel worlds, because they're they're not these they're they're the same events, but not the same events happening at the same time. Because there there's 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 only like I want to say there's only like a handful of events that happen in this month. There's the club meetings that happen every so often. There's the club trip, or the there's the rain event that just happened. There's uh, the lost cat that sometimes happens. There's the the club trip to the uh, to the Kamashiro residence where you stay for two nights. Uh, then after that, it's just short events until the festival. There's not really not that many. It's just little stuff that happens in between. Amana, I wonder if she caught a summer cold from last night's storm. By noon, I'm so worried about Amana that I run out of the club room earlier than usual. You're you're unusually clingy right now to Amana. Like, seriously, it's only been like a week. <laughs> and you're like, oh, I wonder where Amana was. Where's Amana? Oh shit, I did everything here. Well, I guess we're gonna go to the cafe, because there's the... Oh shit, that's where I have to go. Stalker, what? Even during summer break, the place is full of customers around lunchtime. As I open the door, I see Yamato running around the cafe as a server. Ah, Kimika! Being clingy never helps. <laughs> I can tolerate a certain amount of clean. Certain amount of clean. Amana isn't here. 
For a moment, I considered leaving, but I ended up taking a seat at the end of the counter. Yamato seems to be running around the place all by himself. Did Amano catch cold? No, you idiot. I mean Miu. Miu? Ah, Miu ka. So nandayo. Are kara konetsu dash chatte sa. Mezrashiku hea ni komori panashi. Sore na no ni kono kusso isogashi lunch time o. Hitori de nori kira nai to ike nai to wa. Yamato complains as he places his fresh brewed coffee on the tray. Ah, gome. Kono kofi. Madogiwa no ojisan ni motte itte kuru nai? No. Me? I take the tray from your mother and bring the coffee to the table by the window. <laughs> you son of a bitch. He puts two plates of spaghetti with meat sauce on the counter. Ooh, that sounds delicious. I love spaghetti. Though I'm confused, I put them on the tray and take them to the customer that he pointed out. Just as a formality, I thank the women for their patience. It's okay, I'm free anyway. I, I can help out until lunch is over if you want. Yamato's face brightens up. Apron? I go around the corner and take a look. This! I feel trapped. <laughs> Is he gonna have my name on it already? It's past 2 p.m. The lunch rush is finally over. Just as the last people leave through the door, I sit at the counter and bury my face in my arms. Taking order is fun. I've never worked a restaurant job like that. I've worked, uh, I've worked, uh, my first job was Subway. Thank God I didn't do anything with the drive-through. Um, and then I worked in culinary at, at SeaWorld, where I worked in the kitchen. That was like the funnest job I ever had, because I like to cook. Uh, I did work at Wendy's for a little bit, too, as the grill cook. I'm tired. If I think about it, I haven't done any manual labor in a long while. Yeah, I've Cafe Pasta's menu is one of the many attractions featuring a variety of dishes labeled by the alphabet. When I made lunch A, then lunch B, I just wanted to make it all the way to lunch Z, said Yamato Amana. Uh, at all around the halfway point, the menu starts to become repetitive. Makes it seem like most of the items were made up on a whim. One can't miss entree is lunch X, the chef's choice. This is a result of Yamato having run completely out of ideas, so when someone orders it, all he does is look into the refrigerator and come up with something on the spot. <laughs> Nothing worse than picky and rude customers. I'm not a rude customers, but I can be a picky person sometimes. No joke. There's, I can't stand mayo. <laughs> oh, oh, you try serving me mayo, and then you're gonna see a different side of me. I agree. I get lunch A and lunch B, but there's C and D and so on. Lunch X, lunch Y, and lunch Z. Does anyone really need that many choices? No. <laughs> Besides, you clearly ran out of ideas. What's this lunch Z? Kitty's favorite miso soup combo? Miso shiru bukkake rice. Plus miso shiru no set, na? Zanshin daro? Wild daro. Did you just say miso soup over rice with a side of miso soup? So you're getting twice the miso soup except one with rice and one without. What? It's old. It's old in so many ways. Yeah, <laughs> Of course I did. I'm in an apron with frilly pink lace trims. It's got to be for a woman. Or maybe Amana had a spare apron. I hate myself for putting this on. 
Bring out what? Your mother turns off the stove and tries to taste of what he'd been cooking. <clears throat> he places a small spot on the counter. Hi, Kore. Miu no Hirumeshi. Kaida Agate, Temai Migi no Heana. He hurries back into the kitchen. So I have to take this to a mana now? I lift the lid on the small clay pot and a cloud of steam meets my eyes. It's porridge with an egg. Ooh, the first time we've gone into the house of the Amanas. Up the stairs and on the right. I carefully walk upstairs making sure this is, this is, this is so going to be a picture. The first door on the right has the name Miu written on it with a very cutesy font. I wouldn't expect that from her. The name has a lot of hearts around it too. I gulp. For some reason, my heart is beating. Well, maybe I should knock first. I shuffle the tray around my arms and lightly knock twice on the door with my right hand. It's me! I wait for a moment. There's no response. Your mother asked me to bring you some porridge. I wait a little longer. Still nothing. I guess there's no choice but to go in. I'm opening the door now. Hope you're not nude. <laughs> Let's look at this room first. Let's look at this room. Okay. She has like she has a a little flower pillow on the floor which look, kind of looks like a pet a pet blanket or a pet pillow or whatever. She's got a bunch of cat pillows. She's got a bunch of cat pillows. She's got freaking um she's got the freaking it balloons all over the room for some reason. She's got a giant strawberry pillow. And a star pillow on her bed. She's got a giant fluffy rabbit. She's got a lot of chests. She's got a chest at the foot of her bed underneath that desk. She's got a chest on her on her table. She's got like a she's got that like see-through like curtain thing over her bed. That's kind of funny. Hey, don't judge, you have Pokemon. I wasn't judging. I'm just pointing out what she has. Uh, I turn the doorknob and push the door open with my shoulder. There's a sweet, gentle scent in the air. Is this really Amana's room? As soon as I have that thought, I'm struck by a feeling of somewhat like dizziness. I can feel myself panicking. The room is filled with stuffed animals. That shouldn't be a surprise. Amana's a girl, after all. This is Amana's room. Me, Amana, acts cold around everyone, but she can't resist cute things and has a sizable collection of stuffed animals. She even begged her grandmother to make her bed into a princess bed with the ceiling over it. Miu is too embarrassed to tell anyone about this hobby, so no one outside of the Amana family know about it. In other words, it is out of the question that a boy like the main character would ever set foot in her room. This is a there's a canopy bed across the room from me. Amana is asleep in it. I wonder if there's a picture. Miu. No response. I can hear her breathing heavily. <gasps> I'll leave the porch here. I put the tray down beside the table. My job here is done. All I have to do is leave the room now. Are you alright? I shouldn't have spoken to her. I vaguely regret it. Of course, she doesn't answer. I quite look at her face. Oh, she's super sick and we gotta save her. She's kinda cute when she's not, like, staring at us evilly. Her cheeks are flushed. When I see that, my heart skips a beat. What is this sensation? Amana's eyes open slightly and she catches me. I got the remedy for you, girl. I'm gonna make you some chicken noodle soup with some saltine crackers and some 7-Up. Don't, don't worry, you're gonna be, you're gonna be alright, girl. Um, no. You shouldn't eat some of your lunch. That doesn't matter to me, girl. I'm gonna stay here and make sure you get better. I don't mind. <coughs> what? 
Why don't you drink some water? The mother's annoyed. I stepped back towards the door. I looked into the pinwheels. I wanted to talk to you as soon as possible. So get better soon. I'll be waiting. Bye. Sayonara. Yeah, motte itte kureta kai. Miu, dou datta? She's kind of dying up there, dude. You might want to take her to a hospital. She didn't seem well. Ah, daro na. Sanju kudo ijo netsu ga atta kara na. Konna toki.母親みたいなのがいてくれればいいんだけど。俺も店を閉めるわけにもいかないからさ。I do you need me to stay and help out some more? I have time today. It's okay. I don't have any plans anyway. But you don't even need you don't even need to pay me. But I'm not putting that apron back on. じゃあ今日だけ手伝ってもらおうかな。その代わり。he winks at me. You wonder if she'll remember you bring, being in her room? More than likely. What? Holy shit, there's a lot of events going on at the Burbs. I ended up working till 9 o'clock that night. You might have gave me some money for my work. I refused to take it, but he forced me to, saying he'd want, he'd want to ask for my help later. The employee rice omelet he made for dinner was very tasty. The employee rice omelet? You cheap out and give me a freaking rice omelet? Not a delicious freaking steak or a burger or something with meat? <laughs> it's me's favorite, or even chicken. I want to take chicken. Give me some fried chicken. I'll be like, oh, I'll be so happy. It's me's favorite, he said. However, I didn't catch to see Imana again that day. It's getting through there. We already saw that. Yeah, of course she'll remember. She'll remember being being in her room. It's almost time for the summer camp. Looks like can't. Oh God! Shut up! Shut up, Kensuke! Oh wow! Look this. It's just locking me into the suburbs. Hopefully she isn't mad. Yo, Tenkosekum. Kino Arigatona. Why do you keep calling me new dude? I got a name. So zero dude, not new dude. <laughs> At least he got dude in there. Uh sure, is the mana? Mada neterio. Kino Yuriwa e me tied up. And the kinets got the karana. Kyo no tokorwa and there's no point in hanging around here alone. I leave the cafe. Okay. I guess that was the whole point of that was to check. Wow, it's just locked me in. I'm just locked in now. All my time is at the suburbs. Good thing I didn't check it all that whole time. Oh, Tenkosei-kun. I gladly agree. Ah, everyone wa counter no shita na. I'm trying to curry favor with their brother so that that Miu loves me later. I have to wear this again? Ah, again as a waiter, not a waitress, a waiter. I start ser helping out as a server. But Yamato was the only one to bring him on her porridge this time. Well, I can understand that. I helped your mother at the cafe until early evening. Oh no. Huh. Oh, I have to. 
I have to I have to keep doing the freaking suburbs. I'm super locked in. I'm about to finish up. People start coming in for dinner. I decided to stay, stay and help you, Mato. You better give me something, like a picture. Yamato gives me some moolah. The quick rice omelet he made was delicious this time, too. Yeah. Another day is over. I'm gonna be real sad when this game is done, but I would so play this again on Switch. Arxis, give me, I, hook me up with the freaking Switch code. I'll play this shit again. I'll do your review. I already have ideas for making that review for this game. I see there's a couple reviews, but there's, I don't want to say they're bad reviews, but there's, the, the only one that has like a bunch of like views is one that is that some guy, it seems like some guy from like, from like across the sea made. Because it's like he has a really strong accent, and like he probably had like a copy of the game um, that released over there first. So it's like eh, I want to do one. I want. I already have ideas to make it kind of cool. So hopefully, I wonder if Amana is over her cold by now. Come to think of it, I'm hungry. I'll head over to Pastiche. He's awfully hungry for Amana. Hello. Ah,君か。Pistachio muffins? What? Is she feeling better now? He's hungry and thirsty. I decided to go to the shops along Sazanami Street. I need to find me. I need to find me. I need to find that sweet, sweet can. Oh wait, what did that say? I got lost in my freaking reference. There's only a few people on Thousand Island Street right now. I see a petite girl in front of the supermarket. Amana, Miu. <laughs> my voice came out louder than I expected, and Miu shudders at my outburst. I'm not gonna say her name, Amana. I'm gonna call her Miu. So sorry, I didn't mean to shout like that. How do you feel? <laughs> Oh, I came in so hard. I mean, what? No, you can't prove that. Well, no, because Yamato asked me. As usual, her tone is harsh. Sorry. Yeah, I do because you're getting all super pissed and salty. No, I don't think about. I didn't think about your feelings. If I if I upset you, I'm sorry. But I'm glad you got better. Okay. For what? Huh? Amana disappears into a store. It was it just me or did she thank me? Grateful waifu, I bought you porridge. <laughs> now I can go to the cafe, but I'm not. I'm gonna go to the manor because I've been to the cafe too much. Let's go to the sacred lands. <gasps> Miss Kamashiro sent a hot chan. What you doing, girl? What brings you here? Uh, I'd like to ask you that. Me? I I'm playing hooky, I guess. The school isn't usually loud today, so I gave my keys to Yukino and left. <laughs> well, I don't do this often. I think to myself that her laugh is surprisingly childlike. Hey, do you know what the Kikadas makes? Do you know what the Kikadas make so much noise all the time right now? What? That sentence sounds weird. But do you know what the Kikadas make so much noise all the time right No, that sentence is wrong. Do you know why the Kikadas make so much noise all the time right now? That! It's a typo! It's another typo! I swear to god, I found like four or five of them right now. Do you know why the Kikadas make. No! I tell her that I don't know why. 
It's for mating. Those are male cicadas calling out to their females. Cicadas only live out of the open for about a month. They grow up under the ground under the ground for periods of up to six or seven years. If they can't fulfill their reason to live in the month, the six years they spent underground will be meaningless. So, in order to make the most of their short lives, they cry endlessly through their entire period. They're desperately living out their lives. So, the summer camp is wrong. No, girl, I'm crying out to you right now, girl. The you and that boot is so hot. Yours is a butt that won't quit, girl. Huh? What happened to the Kikeda story? I stopped. I didn't want this to turn to a lecture. You know, when I look at you, I get all hot and bothered. I mean, I want you know, I want to tell you things. I remember saying something like this before. Now go home. Promise me you'll get ready for tomorrow. Oh, I'll be ready for you, girl. She's right. I need to prepare for tomorrow's presentation. There are no visitors. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, let's go. I've been to the suburbs already. I should go. To, I should go here, but I should go to the suburbs just to to see if me is there. I heard something else. Right? Yes, I. Ah. Oh, Miu. She's not feeling well today. I made her take the day off. Doesn't your mystery club summer camp start tomorrow? She wanted to go to it, so I figured she ought to rest up. Right, tomorrow's the first ever camp for the Tribal Studies Research Club, aka the Mystery Club. Even though it's only for one night, I have pre I prepared a thing. I ordered iced tea. Of course, I asked for it without lemon or milk. It's my usual order. And I never get it. Another day, another... Where's my Miss... Where's my Miss Kamash Yamashiro dream? I need to dream of my hot teacher, John! I say hot teacher, but I need to be saying hot sensei-chan. Blah, blah, blah. We, this is the camping trip. So there's going to be nothing new until freaking the guardhouse or the, the mystery house thing. Just like a hentai. I mean, what? <laughs> it's, it's right after this scene. This is where all the new stuff always happens. Here we go. Um. When a monster suddenly speaks to me, my heart jumps as if I'd been stabbed. I... That's true. I wanted to speak with you too because I did some research on my own. Ah, eh, it's not your fault, girl. You had a bad fever. You're so hot and bothered. We sit in two chairs next to each other and place our notebooks on the desk. I did some research into the pinwheels. In Mahati Town, there are tractors for the life energy of people. I tell Amada what I learned from my investigations. She listens, her face never changing expressions. She doesn't she doesn't open her mouth until I've completely finished talking. Is that from your grandmother's from your grandmother too? So so it's like an aura. Hmm. Maybe like some kind of aura thing in my notebook, handbook. Spiritual energy that emanates from organic bodies, especially those of humans. It's mostly invisible to the naked eye, but people report seeing them on rare occasions. They come out in a variety of colors and reflect the personality and thoughts of the individual they belong to. They're also interpreted as life energy itself, but no one no truly knows what exactly what they are. On the other hand, it's also used as an offhand way to describe a person's attitude or just a general feeling in the area. Sometimes when you power up, your color determines what power level you are. You mean like my handbook and I have my aura status? I'm so powering up that yellow Super Saiyan color. Double. 
気を視覚として捉えたものそれがオーラと呼ばれているんだろうって The brutality appears as a colored area around them <sighs> In that case my aura is probably gray or beige something really dull そんなことないミユ mumbles something I quickly look at her She's staring at me. I feel like her eyes are penetrating my body and seeing me naked. Me? Was she able to see my aura? I have questions. But I feel like she's refusing to continue talk about, to talk about it. We have some free time after lunch. We're giving our presentations in the hall in the farmhouse. Everyone but Kensuke gives a great presentation. The last one to go up is for. Uh, to go up are me and Amana. So, let's go. So, I'm going to go up to the house. I'm going to go up to the house. At Miss Yamashiro's prompting, we hesitantly stand up in front of the others. What's that? I'm going to go up to the house. 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 It seems that our presentation is going, fit, going to finish without any problems, and then. Saigoni, Kono Machini Stavar Yomibito Densetsuo, Vareware Se Aru Monotachiwa, Do Sosakuste Kubekina Noka. What? That's not part of the script. Amar is improvising. Or maybe this was part of her plan all along. Hitobito wa Kikit Stayte Kuhodoni, Mizukara no Negaya. More. So then, ah, Mukashi no Kachikachiyama Saigo, Warui Tanuki ga ii usagi ni korosare ru rashi kara na. Eh, sore te zenzen ii usagi ja nai jon. Jidai no kachikan o hanyei shite iku kara, minzok gaku wa omoshiroi no yo. Gomen nasai, Miu san, tsuzukete. では、伝承のその始まりもフィクションだと言えるのでしょうかそれは誰にもわかりませんだけど私はこう思うのですそこには願いが込められているとその通りね読み人伝説は人の願いが作り出したおとぎ話であるとおいさやお前反論しないのかよ神代の手柄が嘘話だって言われてるようなもんだぞ誰しも思想は自由ですからただ他にまだ隠された文献はあるそう考えますこれについてはいずれ<笑><笑> What the hell is up with that drum beat? <笑>以上です。ミユ bows, I quickly bows well. はい、どうもありがとう。みんな、お疲れ様。これで。ミスジャムシロ stands up。発表はどれも面白かったわね。それじゃあ。アサギくんいやいやいやいやその理由がわからないほど頭のネジが緩んでしまったでござるか、so, so、the that say it. It なんでハナコ風なんだよ Why are you talking like Hanako? Blah 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 Shut up Even Sai can't help but laugh and the tension starts loosening up Skip it! Me alone was quiet as she put her notebook back in her bag The notebook said death note on it Ooh, are we gonna have a nighttime scene with me this time? We have dinner, take baths, enjoy some free times over cards and video games. When we return to the boys' bedroom, Cal, my god, shut up! Change my clothes, dine sun air. I don't think I should be wandering, blah blah blah, there's nothing but silence. The subject of my thoughts is Miu. 
Sweet, sweet Mew. I could stay, I could, uh, how could she state her opinion so boldly at the end of the presentation? I felt like she was talking about her whole life philosophy, and not just reading a script from a summer camp report. Mew is Mew. Mew. A figure passes by in front of me. It's Mew. No way. Was I thinking about Mew so much that I just hallucinated her? The figure doesn't notice me and moves towards the back of the Kamashiro Manor grounds. By instinct, I stand up and begin to follow. By instinct, you just decide to follow this sketchy person? No! I'm like, I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. I'm going back in there and trying to sleep. <gasps> There's a light in the distance on that island that we've heard nothing about. The figure goes all the way to the tip of the cape and stops at the very edge. After looking at the ocean for a while, the person starts to look around the area. There seems to, they seem to be looking for something rather than being on alert. What should I do? Should I say something? As I'm wondering what to do, the figure crouches down. I hear heavy breathing. Mew! I speak out without even realizing what I'm doing. What are you doing here, girl? You are my business, girl. I love you so much. You're always pushing me away like that. You're... What, they just noticed? He just noticed the light now? <laughs> I see a light glitter across the ocean. It's a tiny reef out along the coast. Where are we? The tip of the cape is the closest spot on the land at that point. It's no place for anyone to be. I think when I see that glimmer in the distance, the light flickers in the bushes out of the sandbar. Um, Miyu follows my island and turns toward the reef. What is? Yes! We gotta reach out to the truth, girl. Yes, reach out to the truth. I'm not gonna stop you, girl. I'm gonna go with you. Miu! How are you gonna get there? I look around just like Amana did earlier. My eyes get used to the darkness after a while, and I realize that part of the fence is slightly wrong. It's hard to tell in the dark, but part of the fence sticking out over the cape has a small door. I try pushing against it, but I think it's rusted shut. I climb over the fence and land on the other side. Look, there are some stairs here! I fell about three feet below the edge. There are stairs leading down the inner side of the cape. It looks like we can go down this way. What do you think, girl? No. No. I'm going with you, girl, and I won't ask you for a reason. I'm coming with you. I hold my hand out to Amana. I mean, Miu. I hes she hesitates for a moment, and then she grabs my hand. Her tender, soft hand. I hold her hand tight and pull her over to me. I mean, to the fence. <laughs> Miu loses her balance and hovers over me. I smell... Something sweet. It was the same thing I smelled in that room. Miu's room. <laughs> That's her, girl. We descend along the dark koi wall. Her perfume. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, God. He's doing Sega Saturn again. Bleh! I don't care for the Sega Saturn. The long stairs lead downward, sort of down, turning down an underground passage. I turn on the flashlight on my phone. Um, Miu? Nani. Oh, we're we gonna get a picture of scary Miu inside this dark, dank, freaking cave. What? Oh, she said that. I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but can I hold your hand? Huh? I scurred. It's dark and dank and full of terrors, and you can't see where you're walking. Ooh. I reach out to Miu. Her soft hand squeezes mine back. Let's go, girl. <laughs> we proceed down the tunnel in silence. The only sound is our footsteps echoing eerily along the passageway. The tunnel isn't all that long, 
There's another staircase leading upwards, clearly a way to the reef. We go up it slowly. After a while, the staircase turns to a bare stone. Man, it's getting spooky. What do you, what do you have against the Sega Saturn? I have nothing against the Sega Saturn. I just didn't ever grow up with it. It's too expensive. Finally, the sky appears over our heads. Kamashiro Manor is visible on the opposite shore. We obviously crossed over the reef. Asoko. We see a slight flickering. So we start going in that direction. Are we going to run into the cult? Are we going to finally find out about this cult? The light turns out to be a bare light bulb in an old Shinto shrine. In a place like this? Is this what you were looking for? Should we go inside? Me nods firmly. The shrine isn't that big inside, though we don't know who turned it on. A dying fluorescent light is shining here. Ooh, okay, so before we, we even find out about what this is, this is something that I've been thinking about for, like, since the beginning playing this game and doing all the different routes. I think this shrine is the real shrine of, like, the stories that they have uh, for the Kamashiros. Because... They, they said that they only let certain amount of people into their, their like, archives at certain points in the year. But what if it's all, like, just, like, their fake stuff? And the reason why they're not allowed there all the time is because they only allow, they, like, this is the real stuff right here. And they, like, they, they don't, like, they basically have it there. And then when they're going to open it to people, they move all this stuff out and put in the fake stuff. So that no one finds out, like, r the real things that are going on. The shrine isn't that big inside. Though we don't know who turned it on. A dying fluorescent light is shining eerily. Yeah, that was, that was just something I was thinking about. Because it's like, yeah, there's all these archives and stuff. But it's very easy to, like, have that set as, like, a, a trick. When it's like, what if you don't want someone to find out about stuff? Well, that's why you don't allow them to go there whenever they want. It's only allowed at certain points during the year. So they have a chance to move all the real stuff out and put in all the fake stuff. There's a small altar in the back, and the walls along both sides are crammed with stacks of books on shelves. Miyu runs up the books and begins flipping through them. What are you looking for? Miyu doesn't answer, and keeps looking intensely through the books. I should leave her alone. I take a look around. There's a there's a binder on one of the shelves. It appears to be relatively new compared to the other books. Are you looking for a notebook or something? This one looks different from the others. The cover says Sayori. A journal left behind by Tochiro Kamishiro's deceased wife. It documents the secrets behind Saya's birth. <gasps> Whoa? The secrets behind Saya's birth? Yeah? When she was little, Saya and her brother Mibu snuck into the little shrine on the reef and found this journal. Mibu was harshly scolded by his father, Tochiro, for sneaking in without his permission. This incident has been a traumatic memory for Mibu ever since. Ho ho ho? What? This, the fact that it says secret of behind Saya's birth? Or maybe I'm thinking too much into that. We already know that Saya is the... Saya was not Tochiro's real real kid. And that Saya and Hanako are sisters. Can't really make it out. I think this is a birth certificate inside. I put it back on the show. No! You know you know how much Yukino would love to have that right now? As I make my way through the stack, something catches my eye. There's a book on a wooden chair. It looks more like a day planner. Man, finally secret people, please watch the door. I know, right? <laughs> like, they're they're on this island, but someone turned this light on. There's a book on a wooden chair. Unlike the other books, this one looks as if someone had been reading it very recently. I pick it up. The outside cover has no title, but the first page on the inside says Yomibito Records. 
<laughs> I flip through it. There are several pages written out by hand in crab writing. The other pages are blank. The Yomi Beetle are originally in the town of Satsu. Maybe Satsu. The handwriting is very hard to make out. I give up. Wait, what was that? The Yoma Beetle are originally in the town of Sat. Sat. What? What town is that supposed to be? Rep Did we ever hear about any other town in this game? Satsu? We haven't heard any other. <gasps> Wait. Wait. Yeah, we've never heard about any other town. But there was another town. The town that freaking Hanako and Saya came from. Where where Sayori was. Ooh. Ooh. I give up. I'm about to put the book back when I found it where when I see Miu staring at me. What? Nani. Nani. If she marches up to me, it snatches the book right out of my hands. I can tell she's excited. Oh, you're so excited, girl? Me too. I do as she asks. Camera. I open up the camera app. You don't have your own phone, girl? What the hell's wrong with you? Miyu takes my phone and aims the camera at the book, taking pictures of all the written pages. Now upload them into your Google Cloud and share them with me later. Share where I go. Amanda grabs my arm and leads me out of the shrine. My dick is my phone now? <laughs> Miyu, what on earth was... You mean it was stolen? Shouldn't you be taking it back with you then? Who's we? I stopped mid sentence. I can feel someone coming this way. Amanda seems to have noticed it as well, and we rush over to hide in the shade of a tree. That's rattling sound of someone pushing through the underbrush. Finally, a figure emerges. The frenzied voice belongs to a man. We crouch low and hold our breath. The figure stops and seems to be looking around. Shh. I cover Amanda's mouth with my hand. <laughs> the man holds his breath for a moment, then sighs expansively and walks into the shrine. Who was that? Huh? Oh, sorry. I quickly pull my hand away. Oh, I'm sorry, girl. Sorry, it was a spur of the moment thing. The door opens suddenly. Masaka. Masaka, I said. Is that Mibu? Is that Mibu? We stiffen. All we can do is pray that we're not spotted. The man walks back towards the cape, gasping hard. I wait until I feel the presence is gone before I let myself breathe again. Could that have been Mibu, maybe? I knew it. And if you saw the last, if you saw the last VOD, we all know that Mibu was the one, who, the was the one in the Panda Man mask. I'm not sure. Should we head back? We sent him to the tree and decided to kill some time. I suddenly realized that Miu is leaning over me. Her flushed skin is moist and soft, and I can feel my heart beating faster and faster. Why am I getting so excited at a time like this? I hope she doesn't notice. I feel frustration on my own carelessness. 
I wonder what was written in that book Amana was looking for. I wonder if she'll ever tell me about it. Well, she took pictures with my phone. Me was suddenly leaning against my shoulder. My heart beats even faster. Why am I getting excited? So excited. I look into her face resting against me. Mia, you're so cute when you're not crazy looking, girl. What the? She's asleep? Did I just take a picture? <laughs> <laughs> Just one, pic one picture won't hurt. It's past 2 a.m. We're in the small hours of the morning. Mana slept the entire time. <laughs> like you just took a picture. <laughs> we ended up waiting until the sun came out before we went down to the tunnel. We were able to make it back to the others before everyone woke up. Why are you so scared? My arms and legs are covered with red spots from bug bites. My blood is just tastier. Oh god, shut up with this whole vampire thing again. I don't care. We have a lecture by Miss Yamashiro in the morning. Classes are popular. We've already heard all this. Can't get yawns. Yes, that's rude. Oh, wari wari. Shunmi Akatsuki o oboezu te yu daro. In the middle of summer. How? Oh my God! It's the same crap. It's the same crap. Skip it. After lunch, our trip is dismissed. Shop. I need to get to all the new stuff. I need to find out what was in that book. She took pictures. Why can't we look at what we took pictures of? And we know that the Yamabito is not from this town. It's from another town. Wait. Let us go into our archives. Where's our archives? Tips. Was there another town? Satsu. God, there's still so much we haven't gotten. There's still so much of this we haven't gotten. Was there a town called Satsu? Let's see. Um, wait, where was this town? Was this the town I was from? Oh, I thought I would say maybe. Oof. Mihato Town. Sosanami Street. World End. Kamashiro. Does it say maybe in the Z ties that to me? Nope. And said where? Damn it. Nothing. The weather is nice. Maybe I'll go to Amana's cafe. <sighs> Jesus, man. Just make it so obvious. And I'm locked in. Well, I'm kind of glad it's just taking me where I need to go for this route. But it's like, well. <sighs> Just go there. Oh, Irashai. I give Yamato a slight bow and take my usual seat by the window. I wonder if she's doing well at work. <laughs> hey, Miyu. I, I'll have a nice tea, girl. Shashi, Jodai. Give me my iced tea. What pictures? Of me? I don't take a lot of selfies. Yashiro no. Trying? Oh. I cover my mouth with my hands. I'll text them to you later. How about over ring? Dekiru. Amana takes out her cell phone. Is, is that? Miu, is that a flip phone? So I'm not sure if you can receive photos. If I compress the pictures, they'll be too fuzzy to read the letters. She ignores me and starts spelling out her ID, so I quickly type in my phone. Well, I think the file size is too much for an old phone like that. Do you have a PC? Jesus Christ. Then can we print them out and... 
の店員なんか客と揉めてないきっと男女のもつれよ未練がましい男がストーカーになってお店に来てるのよきっと Seriously? 明日の朝あなたの家に行くから<笑> Yes Yes come over to my room girl I mean my house She walks away before I can say anything in response 見たあの男振られたわよ見た見た Shut up, you can. Stop clucking. Tomorrow morning, then. We're kind of halfway through the month. We're a little over half. This one's kind of. This one's kind of going a little bit quickly. Day. Me was coming, and so am I. When the two girls leave, I feel a deep sense of relief. But after 10 o'clock, I start getting more restless. She never did specify what time she'd be coming. I kind of doubt she'll actually show up at all. Maybe she forgot. <gasps> As I'm walling on my suspicions, the doorbell rings. Miyu kicks off her shoes and peers around the living room. Maimi chan to Yukino san wa? Oh, they're already gone. So. It's just you and me, girl. Miyu turns her back to me and continues to look around the room. She approaches the balcony. Miharashi, in. Yeah, it sure is a nice view, girl. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, and the, yeah, the scenery is yeah, so beautiful. This used to be a vacation home. I heard you can see the fireworks during the summer festival from here. What? Um, my computer's in my room. I could bring it down here, but what if Mimi suddenly comes home or something? Me looks thoughtful. Yeah, girl, come on up to my room. And I'll show you the world. Please. Yeah, I don't have much to display. Actually, I've heard that's not a good thing. And someone told me before that people who don't decorate their living spaces are always mentally prepared to leave. I don't get the details. I guess it means that if you're not attached to a place, you aren't attached to the world. I can kind of understand that. Anyway, that stuck with me. So I put a pinwheel on the wall. At least it's the only proof of my existence here. What? いつでもこの世から消えてやるってそんな風に私には見えた My sister died because of me I've done something I can never take back and I know everyone blames me for it people act like they sympathize but they they want to say it's my fault I should have been the one who died but I live I'm going on living as torture I can only pray for it to end early. The world is just full of hostility, directed even toward people who have nothing to do with me. I can't my life. Since I just said, it's my excuse for why I'm still living. On, 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 on. Demo, Scotch Kavata. I changed because of you, girl. I did? Anata wa ima, ikiyo to steru. How you like my how you like my crying acting? <laughs> how you like my crying voice? Eh, I guess that's true. Though it really wasn't that bad. I really did wish that the world would have <laughs> would end. I can feel myself being hungry when I don't eat. My when my body gets tired, I feel sleepy. The more I feel alive, the more miserable I become. Because 
my heart starts beating fast. It, it's stupid, isn't it? I feel it when I'm nervous or excited. Doki doki te. Donna toki. Like when I see you, girl. When? Does she want an example? Like when I'm with you. Well, you want to see those dick pics? Oh, you're talking. Oh, you're talking about the other things. Oh, okay. I quickly connect my phone to my PC. I bring up the pictures that I took the other day. Amana leans over and looks at them. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, we took the picture right after the. We took the photos of the of the book while she was sleeping. <laughs> and it's gonna show up when we show the pictures. All right, let's do some sleuthing. What did, what did you think of my crying, my crying acting during that tender moment there, Lady Draco? What did you think? At one to at one point, I thought about becoming a voice actor. I clicked to display the next photo. No, 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 dude, no! It's a trap. Don't do it. No. <clears throat> nope, it's over. Uh, the last picture is. <laughs> you fool! <laughs> you idiot! Well, that one was um bad. It was very bad. Memes faces are seem so. I just felt like taking it. It's not. It's not what you think. I swear to God, girl. Can't die. Oh my god! The words echo in my head, powerful enough to split my skull. I feel like a huge rock had come crashing down on me. Oh, but you're so cute when you're asleep, girl. I return to the previous picture. The close up of me's face disappears from the screen. I screwed up. Shit. This was so careless of me. I'm an idiot. Baka! Me seems focused on the pictures and pays no attention to me. Do you know someone who can? Um, yeah, do you want me to put them on a USB? US... USJ. Miyu has an extreme weakness against learning Western languages, and for and she's extremely inept with technology to boot. For Miyu, who doesn't have so much as a phone or a computer, the term USB is just a random string of letters. <laughs> oh no! As it happens, visiting the USJ theme park is one of Miyu's recent aspirations. Universal Studios Japan. <laughs> That's a theme park. USB. I think it'll be fine as long as you give it to someone you know with a PC. USD. That means United States dollars. UFO. Uh, oh, we're getting further away now. We're not doing sleuthing yet. It's done as I type rapidly nonsense on my computer keyboard. I copy the picture to a flash drive. I make sure the transfer is complete and remove the drive from my computer. I erased everything you don't need from it. So everything should be self-explanatory once you open it. I can't bring myself to turn to turn to face me. Maybe I shouldn't be saying this at a time like this, but I've helped you out this much. Can you help me out with what I want to do? I gather all my courage. I'm kind of pent out. Kind of pent up. I need some release, girl. I mean, let's go out to eat. <gasps> what? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, what? Ding dong, you can what? What's the, what? With the computer, I swear. She's so sleepy, yes. She's so sleepy, but she's always so cute. 
Me was collapsed on my bed and is fast asleep. I can't help but smile at her sleeping face. She's a sleeping beauty. Maybe I should wake her up with a magical kiss. I wish I had a picture of this. My phone. <gasps> Grab it really quick. Yeah. <laughs> She'll never see it. I put a blanket over her, then go downstairs to the living room. After a while, Amana Miyu comes downstairs, rubbing her eyes. Little Miyu insists that she can't sleep without being surrounded by her plushies. She can actually fall asleep anywhere, in any posture. She loves sleeping. Nothing makes her happier. When the protagonist calls her a sleeping beauty, his nickname is more appropriate than he realizes. You're tired, especially just after getting over a cold. Here, here's the USB. Do you want me to walk you part way back? What? Nani? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> do I an do I answer truthfully, or do I do I do I say just say no? No, to deny, deny, deny. In in politics, that's what they teach you: deny, deny, deny. No, I didn't. <sighs> She's clever. Uh, okay. Okay. I want to go to the thing to see Mew, but I need to go to this to see if there's anything I unlock. Wait. Mr. Troy is face down on the ground, peeking under the car. Something must be wrong. Is everything okay? Ah, but isn't sir, dude. There seems to be something stuck in the undercarriage of this automobile, just out of my reach. Couldn't you get it if you crawled underneath the car? Ah, although it's difficult to admit, I'm not very comfortable in narrow spaces. This is my problem. I look down. It seems like I'd be able to reach it if I crawled underneath the car. Without a word, I slide underneath the car. Sir, dude! Although I end up with my back against the ground, I managed to dislodge a twig that had been stuck there. It should be fine now. Sir, dude! What a reliable fellow! I'm your debt! I didn't know you could have problems too, Mr. Hattori. Ah, uh, it's embarrassing to admit, but do not, but not even I can fight my age! That moment, the weird door of the car opens. Uh huh? Hattori, can we leave yet? He was inside. Mibu. This young man now just came and removed the obstruction on my behalf. Ah, see, new guy, you have my thanks. If only I had something I could. Unfortunately, I only have cash on me at the moment. Money? There's no need to give me any. I see. Oh, I know, Hattori. Do you know, you know that thing in the trunk? Give him that. Mibu gets back inside the vehicle. Ah, that, I see. As you say, sir. Mr. Troy opens the trunk, removes the large box, and hands it to me. What the hell is all this candy that I'm getting? What is this? This is Bomb Kiss, one of the Kamashiro's oldest products. Loved by generations, young and old. It's one of our signature products. Please enjoy it. Now, you have to excuse me. I stand there with the box. Couldn't they have had delivered it? I got the bomb kiss. You know, my collection is growing. Plus, I didn't read what that was. Looks like a bucket of fried chicken or a thing of... of of cheesy fries. Oh, that sounds delicious. An individual package by size bomb kitchen. 
and one of the comic show Doe's longest selling products is known as a lack of dryness typical of most bomb kitchen and for a hint of saltiness has been a stable product. I don't even know what the hell that is. It looks like a fruit roll up. <laughs> it looks like a fruit roll up. It's really heavy. Hmm, I guess I'll go to the cafe. Irashai. I sit in my usual seat. <gasps> Iced tea. That's right. She returns to the counter, her black dress swishing behind her. After a while, here, cola. Thank you. I actually like cola. Thank you very much. I will enjoy this. Okay, hold on. I gotta, I gotta check, gotta check something here. I gotta. Hold on. What is this? There's nothing quite like investing in a show and characters for eight years just to. Uh. Huh. Let me see. Mm. Cola is good. I want to say my favorite drink is 7-Up, though. <laughs> my favorite drink is 7-Up. Something about it. I don't feel weird when I drink 7-Up. If I drink cola, I feel a little bit weird. Where's my dream of always Kamashiro? Where's my... Where's my Kamashiro dream? ということで、合宿はお疲れ様。先生、合宿ってあんな感じで良かったんですか？なんかみんなで遊んでたようなもんだし。そう楽しく過ごして親睦を深めるのも合宿の目的の一つよそれにこの研究会はまだ正式な部活動じゃないけどもし来年認められたらどんな風に活動したらいいのかそんなものですかねでは来年はまゆみ姉さんとテニスの決着をつけさせていただきますわ望むところだよさやだけどね Oh my god, we already heard this. We already heard this. Amana is the first to leave the clubroom as usual. We already heard this. Miyu. I catch up with Miyu as she's about to pass the school gate. Nani? Uh, I, I helped you with the pictures. I want to ask you a favor now. Why don't we go see a movie on Sunday? It's not like we're gonna be. It's not like we're going to a haunted house. You can borrow my earplugs. I'll pay! I'll buy drinks too. God damn it. Ato. There's more. Tell me. Anata. Hentai dashi. Dude. Friend zone, 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 zone. <laughs> oh my god. That, that's. That's. <laughs> She what? Did I just hear her laugh for the first freaking time in this whole game? Uh, she laughed. Jikan kimatara, mail ste. Did Amon? Did Miu? Did she just laugh? Well, now I have to go to the girls' party. I kind of do and I kind of don't. 
I have to go. I have to go to this ghost party. Blah, 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 blah. I have to go. Just because. We just made plans for Sunday, so this feels a little awkward. Mew seems to feel the same way. I'll have an iced tea. Hi. See, this what? is new. What is okay, now it's not new. <laughs> well, at least I got some more. Let's see where we're at right now. Where are we at our handbook? Oh, well, looks like, it looks like, uh, well, looks like the yellow is starting getting close to that edge, but what does that mean? I hope it's not like whichever color reaches the end is the person you end up with. Because, I mean, Yukino is a good choice, but I don't know who I'd want to end up with yet. <sighs> Let's go. <sighs> no, we have plans for Sunday, so I should avoid her. should avoid going to the cafe right now. Sheesh, whoa, 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 what was that? Sheesh, booze costs the same here, even in the middle of nowhere. All right, I'll take this. The man in black suit is buying some alcohol. Oh, it's a call. Oh. It seems he's already drunk, though. Hey, kid. Oh, no. Do I look easy to talk to or something? The uniform. You must be from Mahate High School, huh? Let me ask you something. Do you know Saya Kamashiro? No, I don't. You don't? That's weird. I heard she's famous because she's rich. You don't really know her? I insist that I don't know Saya. It's too bad. Guess I've got to go directly to the big match tomorrow. <laughs> Who is that man? What was that? That was weird. Yellow is fear. At night the hospital is quiet and full of terrors. Still no dream. Still no dream about Miss Yamashiro. I need to get that dream. I need to know. I want to know what love is. It's Friday. What should I do? Right. I made plans to see a movie with, with me on Sunday. I check my phone to find showtimes. I, it seems a new movie is opening this weekend. I don't care much. I don't much care since the theater only shows one movie anyway. But the show times, one is in the afternoon will do. I open up the ring app. But it's L Zero. Let's meet at 2 p.m. on Sunday at the theater at Sazanami, girl. This is the first time I've texted Miu. I wonder what kind of response I'll get. I can't imagine. She'll probably send a single word like, okay. Reply already. I'm relieved that she to get an unexpected swift answer. <laughs> but her phone is old. She doesn't have text emojis. Me? <laughs> wow, why on this day that I have not been to anything? Holy shit. Okay. Let's go to the seafront. Go to the lighthouse. Ah. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, Ryuzaki-chan! I haven't seen you in forever, girl. Where you been hiding? Oh, it's you. Did you know that multiple suicides have taken place at this very lighthouse? Is that true? I didn't know that. Well, I'm sure you wouldn't. I lied. Why are you glaring at me? I can tell you're judging me, condemning me as a liar. You are a liar, though. Maybe, but it's rude to call someone that to their face, you know. Seriously, this conversation is exhausting. Fine, I'll tell you something good then. Another lie, I'm sure. Apparently, I wear lace underwear. There's an unwrapped hidden beach somewhere along the cape. And they say that clear water is as beautiful as Guam, Saipan, Okinawa, or Hawaii. No, as good as Ku Kujukuri Beach. I don't know what that is. I'm not really convinced by that last one. There's no way a beach like that could exist in this town. Believe it or not, the choice is yours. Please don't point at me like that. 
Well, I never been there or even seen it myself. That beach might just be another local local legend. So there's a we Uzaki Chan, when are you gonna admit to our love girl? What's she doing here? Why won't why won't Ryuzaki Chan love me? Why? I found her video game and her sunglasses. Was that not enough for her to love me? <laughs> well, we haven't been to the seafront on this one, so let's go there. Let's go back to the lighthouse. Oh my ah! god! Charlotte, what are you doing here, girl? Who said that there would be shade when they're filming in the lighthouse? There's no shade anywhere! It's not to me, it was you who said that. Shut up, it. Hey, crew, build us a tent. Immediately. What? I said immediately. Huh? What do you mean the wind's too strong? They make a tent that won't get blown over or bring a car. I'm dying here. It's so hot. It's the end of the world. <sighs> it's hot to me. Please be quiet. Shut the hell up. I'm melting. <laughs> In the lobby, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> There's Miu, but I can't go there because I need to check the forest. Just around the river bend. Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> oh, God. Get up. Dang, don't sneak up on, like, on me like that, Zero. But asking what I'm doing is a great question. I'm currently gathering Nikare memorabilia. Nikare memorabilia? By the riverbed? When they're filming Nikare, they usually set up some tents, places for the actors to hang out. I note the locations of the tent Nikare goes to, and once the film crew's gone for the night, I explore the place. Look, look here. Look, look at this. A paper cup. Behold. This cup was once used by Nikare herself. There's no mistake. See? See? That's how I find new treasures. Understand, new guy? How do you know it was hers? <sighs> ah, noobs these days. Check it out. Look at the shade of lipstick on this cup. Two days ago on Wednesday, Nick Gray wore the same color. The only people who would wear such a distinct purple lipstick on such a hot day are either celebrities or weirdos. <laughs> ah. As a result, we can deduce that this paper cup can only be Nick Gray's. And 100% proven. Oh, I was using that cup. Ray only drinks from plastic bottles when I'm on set. When I, while on set. Whoa, Charlotte, where are you coming from, girl? <laughs> what are you? Why did you just pop in all of a sudden? You know, Ray was wearing my lipstick that day. Uh, farewell, witch's cup. Hey, don't litter. <laughs> There's nobody there. Where's my Where's my freaking Yamashiro dream? So mad right now. So upset. So salt. I'm so salt. Miss Lady Draco. So salt right now. Saturday. Wait, is this the date day? No, Sunday. Sunday. I want to go to the school because Miss Yamashiro might be there. Let's go. Eek! What? <gasps> oh! Oh, it's you, Azira. Please don't surprise me like that. I was just about to get changed, so you really shocked me. You're about to see my hot breasts. A friend on the swim team invited me to go swimming in the pool after this. Kamashiro Manor has everything from a tennis court to a karaoke, to a karaoke room, but we don't have a pool. Well, we do plan to have one built in the near future, though. How long are you planning to stare at me? We aren't even close that I feel comfortable changing in front of you. Oh, uh, but we did in one timeline, girl. We sure did. Now, out! Sia locks the door after me. If you're going to change, you should go change in the swim team's changing room. It's called a changing room. There's no one at the top roof. Okay, where I haven't 
Let's go back to the school. Let's go back to the room. Eek! <laughs> oh my god, I love that they put that little detail in there. <laughs> I like that they were consistent with that whole with that whole like just scenario. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. Ow! What was that? Somebody just shoved me out of the blue. I should forget about it, but I shouldn't. I should remember that. Right on the rooftop. No one's doing nothing. Okay. It's nighttime. Tomorrow's the date day. Oh, I should go I should go to the I should go to the cafe to confirm with her. Huh? What are you doing? <gasps> Miu! What are you doing here, girl? Walking kind of tired. Oh, if you're tired, you should try a massage. Works all the muscles that are stiff. Your legs, your thighs, your butt. Hentai. You know you like it, girl. I wasn't offering to give you one. It's closed! But it's still oh. open. Oh, hey, Al Zero. Your motto is still full of pep. Well, the afternoon sure was busy with that filming, but things have finally calmed down. Anyway, look at that. He points at the seat by the wall. Kensuke is sitting there. Strangely, his back is to us. <sighs> Al Zero, did you know? Did you know that they were filming here today? I didn't know. I mean, nobody told me. I wanted to experience the moment with Nick, right? I wanted to breathe the same air as her. I wanted us to use the same toilet paper, too. <laughs> Nick, right, use this bathroom. <laughs> Why can't you just use the bathroom now? It'll still be the same role. <laughs> that was such a creepy thing to say. I feel weird about it. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, when we when they cleaned up after filming, the crew took all the equipment and anything they used. Apparently, there are some creeps out here who take things Nikare touched and sell them online as memorabilia. That's what they say, buddy. Bartender, hit me with some booze. The strongest you got. I keep telling you, I'm not going to serve alcohol to a minor. Now get out of here, C creeper! <laughs> oh, please have the Yamashiro dream. Oh, damn it! It lingered. It lingered in the darkness. I thought that was, it was gonna happen. Damn it! <gasps> we reached the date with with Miu. It's date time, and we only have a week left. Where? Wow! I didn't think I'd be able to get through it this quickly. Holy shit, this is the fastest run through we've we've had. Like like all the other ones took like literally like five hours and how long have I been streaming? How long have, I can't see. Like two hours and we're almost and we're in the final week. I'm going to see a movie with me in the afternoon. I'm a little nervous. Better go rub one out. I walk towards Sazanami Street on the slope overlooking the ocean. I'm melt I'm meeting I'm meeting Miu at two PM. I'll be early, but it should be fun waiting for her. Miu's already waiting in front of the theater. You're early. Neither do I. Neither do I. Actually, like like seriously, like I am the type of person that I I hate to be late, so I'm either early or really early. So I, I identify with their whole mentality about being there super early. She looks up at the theater sign. Killer's Heaven. It seems to be a mystery movie. I'm a bit taken aback, but I can't complain. I didn't even check to see what movie was showing. We still have time. So let's get something to drink while we wait. What do you like? Oh, girl. Oh, 
girl, I'll get you as much cola as you want. Cola? I didn't expect her to ask for that. Whatever you say, girl. Whatever you say. What the hell? Why is my phone saving random screenshots? That's weird. We enter the theater with our drinks. Liar. The theater would not. Ah! The movie is. A Why does that noise happen whenever there's date night? What is that noise? Is that the noise of the freaking theater movie starting? The movie is a romantic suspense tale with a twist I didn't suspect. The story is actually pretty interesting. It kind of, kind of, kind of like this game. I can't focus on the movie that much purely because of the fact that Miyu is sitting next to me. About halfway through the movie, the hero's fates are being tossed around like leaves in the ocean. The movie is reaching its climax, and so am I. Oh. And Miu might be sleeping again, I think, and look over to, to her beside me. <gasps> She's crying. She's emoting in front of me. Huh? I hear the sound. I hear snuffling from the seat beside me. It's Miu. She's trying hard to hold back her tears. When I look, Miu's face is lit from the light of the screen, tears streaming down her cheeks. Better be a picture. Damn it! I want to see that picture. It was good, wasn't it? So That last scene was amazing. The ending wasn't what I expected, but it was touched. So I hope, I hope the game, I hope this game has an ending like that. It was kind of a tearjerker, wasn't it? She glares at me, so I decided not to mention it anymore. Miu is easily moved to tears. She, she's aware of this fact. And tries to hide it from everyone. According to her, she cries out from the relief of knowing that a story is fiction. Just the other day, she started crying while watching a TV program, causing Yamato to ask her, What was so sad about what you're watching? She had been watching a morning cooking show. What? 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 No, girl, there's still light out. Oh, you have to go home already? Because it's a little early and I want to spend more time with you! But why don't we go eat? <gasps> she smiled! She's smiling! She's smiling! She's smiling right at me! She smiled softly. Great! No! Now the smile's gone! Uh, there's this place I want to go to. Is that okay? Don't take her to the cat rival cafe. You idiot! We walk down South Sanami Street to the coastline and arrive at the Ocean Cafe. You idiot! Why would you take her to the Rival Cafe? Why? Why? We take a table on the seaside. A nice ocean breeze blows us around. Both Miu and I order pasta dishes. I stare at Miu as she twirls her spaghetti into her spoon and watch as she inserts it into her mouth. Mii's voice brings me back to reality. You live in this town, but you've never come here? This causes an awkward silence? One of the wait staff approaches us. Well, I should say us, as she's clearly looking at Amana, not me. Yes. She places a bowl of fruit and ice cream on the table. Arigato. The waitress shyly bows and goes into the kitchen. She's also a dis oh, she's also a descendant of the Amana family. The waitress? There's a lot of Amana people in this town. And in in this run, they're going out of their way to like to like make that known. So like they said that the priest at the shrine was a, a part of the Amana family. They're saying that the waitress is part of the Amana family. There's a lot of Amana people here. And there's a lot of cult members out there. What was that about? So. You're not sure? This is a lot of fruit and ice cream. Amatanjanai. Miu opened the menu as if nothing had happened. Yeah, it all tastes good, but I like Yamato's dishes. So? 
I helped him at the shop last week. He made me something he cooked up fresh for me when I was feeling tired. I have a rice omelet that isn't on the menu. It was really great. Oh, you look so cute when you're smiling at me, girl. I wonder why he wouldn't put that on the menu then. Oh, your mother? Mew's mother passed away when she was little. I'm lucky I got to eat it then. The ocean breeze soothes Mew's hair. My heart's been beating loudly this whole time! Cooking is fun. Yeah, I I, I, learned, I taught myself to cook and I started with eggs. Tadaima. Oh, Okari! Are? I bow and say hello, then follow Miu into the shop. Oi, Miu. Isho da nante kite nai zo? Hmm? Betsu ni iwanakatta doke. Hold on, hold on. I need to I need to check something. How many pictures have we gotten of Miu? <gasps> Assuming this is the okay, this is the ending. There's only four to go. And assuming that everyone has a candid shot, which I'm not so sure about sure about anymore. There's only three photos left. Cause that one's missing and this one's missing. And I'm so mad that I don't know how to get these next pictures. I'm so <laughs> salty about that. Oh god, I got hiccups. I take a drink. Hang on, who is who is he not to let her make a success cooking? What? Hang on, hang on. Who is he not to let her make a success cooking? What? Soka, soka. Sorry, ya tenko sekum. Chodo mise mo shimeru tokoro da shi. Ippa yogotta agiyo ka. Then I'll have a cola. Cola. Mezrashi na. Nani o kakso miu mo cola ga. Hatashi. Kigaete kuru. She loves cola and she likes uh, rice omelet. I'm learning stuff about me. Oh yeah. While they're occupied, I stand up to go to the bathroom. When I come back to the cafe, Miyu and Yamato are both gone. I look into the kitchen and see along the back wall. The low door that had always been closed before is slightly open. Are we finally going to see what's in that freaking door? What's this door for? I didn't go in there, even when I helped out in the cafe. Out of curiosity, I walk into the kitchen and open the door more. I see a dark staircase leading to the basement. What? I slowly go down the stairs. As I step down to the pitch dank dark basement, I feel a chill pass over me. I can sense that there's a big space around me. It smells slightly of mold. It's so dark and dank that I can't see anything. I grope against the wall hoping to find a light switch. My hand touches something that feels like a switch and soft. I turn it on. Whoa! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Exclamation! Huh? Oro? Nani? I've never seen this. the equipment here. Is this a torture chamber? I feel a sudden sensation like dizziness. Why? Why? What is this? Does me you know about it? <gasps> oh, fuck no! The light goes out, and in the same instant, I am unable to breathe. Uh, 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 uh. Something is choking me from behind. The force is so powerful that I can't break free. I'm going to die. And my only thought is, I don't care. I've been wanting to leave this world for so long, my wish is coming true. <gasps> but now I have something to live for. Mew! I get it. I... No! No! Not today! I struggle harder. The person behind me seems to flinch at my sudden counterattack. 
Still, the strength holds me. The strength holding me is immense. I can't breathe. I lose consciousness. The real dark dankness is approaching. Yamete. I hear Miu's voice. Is this an auditory hallucination? Kareo, <coughs> Hanaste. <coughs> 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 The powerful grip <coughs> releases me and I stumble to the floor. <coughs> Miu. Nazeta. Yamato? Konoheo mirare wake ni wa ikanai. Waka tertaro. Karega. Karega konomachi ni kitano wa. Nani ka biu gari o na kiga suru no. Your, your throat hurts. <laughs> That's no, what the fuck, man? I have no idea what she's saying either. Kotoshiwa それが始まるタイミングで彼が来た。これには重大な意味があるんじゃないかって。そう。こいつは町に現れた。そしてこいつのことは誰も知らない。言ったろ。こいつは読み人だ。読み人となって生けるものを欺いている。ミュ。お前
排除してるよ我々天野家がな誰にも気づかれず秘密裏に The dead come back to life every year rarely some years go by without any of them reviving The reason why the dead return on some years and don't on others is unknown but the dead do rise They don't seem any different from the living based on appearance, but at some point they snap and begin killing. The exact reason for why Yamabito suddenly loses control and starts to kill the living is also unknown. The Amatas believe it is because the life energy they are given runs out at some point, usually at the end of summer. Meaning the summer festival, several years after the original Yamabito incident a century ago, a girl was born to the Amatas. The child had a special power, the ability to find the undead. Her power was thought as a gift. When she started walking and talking, she was instrumental to finding the risen dead. The rising of a red moon is a sign that the dead have appeared. The girl searched for the dead using her power. People called her the Hawk's Eye after the town guardian spirit, the Hawk. The very first ending we got said that we didn't find the Hawk's Eye. I don't know, we should go watch that ending again just to find out. Refers to an individual in the Amana family who has the unique ability to spot a Yomi Bito. Amana's grandmother, who had been the hawk's eye for several decades, passed away last year. There were two potential successors within the family line. However, well, what? There were two potential successors within the family line. However,. Did Miyu have a sister? Her ability to locate the dead, no matter how far they were, far, how far away they were, was indeed hawk like. And the group that hunted the targets identified by the hawk's eye are the great eagle working in obscurity. That has to be the cult. The amount of family task. Family's task force of human beetle hunters. There are currently five members. One of them is female. <clears throat> the one, the 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 female waitress that has to be her Yamato is the great is the current head of the great eagle this is how the Yamato family has protected Mihari town from the threat of the undead the Yomibito that girl was Miyu's grandmother who passed away last year Miyu nods Does the Kamishiro family know about this? Does the Kamishiro family know about this? What's weird is they, they, right before the, the break, they asked me how can I prove that I'm alive right now. And it just cut and it didn't answer that question. What? And it just skipped ahead like we did the thing. Zenko,隠れて滑し。天野家の隠んだ。今のあの神白家に読み人の存在を信じてる奴なんているわけがない。今も昔も彼らがやってることは何も変わらない。あいつらは。Wow, that sounds racist. Again with this bird, this bird video. And what's in the basement? Akirakani,死んだ人間がうろついていれば。読み人だと分かりやすいんだがそうでない場合もあるそういう時はあの部屋に拘束して読み人である証拠を炙り出す手っ取り早いのは風車だ回り続ける風車を読み人は嫌う理由は分からん気がどうとかなんか seems to go against the whole thing about Yomibito though Yomibiro hate them. 
You don't know why. Something about life energy. Why would they hate them? Oh, they would hate them because the pinwheels suck up life energy. So they would suck up their life energy. まあ、俺にとっては下手な理屈はどうでもいい。それと血だ。読み人は血の匂いに敏感だ。毒されれば正気を失う。そうやって読み人であることを証明していく。俺だって無実の聖者を殺めたくはないからな。それが蘇った読